Hey guys, it's Pamela. I'm going to do another pour just like my last video. The um, colander spaghetti strainer lobster catcher thing. I don't know what you call this, but here it is. The thing about it is it's got high sides and um, so it's hard to get the cup in there and pour around. Um, I thought about using a container and pouring my paints down the side of the container and then, you know, with the spout. Anywho, it was too much to explain and I'm not going to get it out, but I'm going to just, just do it the same way as before. So I'm going to layer my paints. And <clears throat> these are the same colors as the last video. I just wanted to use them up because they've got gloss and medium in them. And this stuff is pretty sticky to clean up for one. Number two, I don't really have another pour right now that I uh, want to use these on. So I'm going to use up what I've got here. So that was um, Artist Loft and Turquoise, this light blue. And this is Phalo Blue from Fine Touch. Yee and I think there was a lump in that. Actually, maybe that was on the other shelf. Let's see that. Okay, here's a copper by Sinlier. I've got some metallics. Oh, I just hit the camera. I've got some metallics by them. Here's Artist Loft Flow Gold. Here's a mix of fine touch white and black for a dark gray. And actually the last canvas was a 12 by 12. This is an 8 by 8. I'm going to do some Dutch pours later, and I just couldn't do them unless I had an 8x8, so <laughs> I went out and got my 8x8s. You have less surface to blow the can uh, paint around on, so that's good. Um, I think I'm going to pour that in last, like I did last time. I hope this is enough. Well, yeah, this should be enough because it was 350 milliliters for the 12 by 12, and I think this is only like 300. Oh, and I've got, did I have a spinner last time? I don't remember. Did I spin it out? <laughs> I can't remember. Surely I spun that out, right? I mean, look at it. No? Well...
Okay, I scraped him. There he is. That's where he lies. Say a little prayer because uh, I'm gonna have to do this again. Yeah. Here's a kaleidoscope I did through the strainer, the blue strainer, not the stainless steel one. And it came out 
Well, I accidentally bumped the strainer so it came out kind of rocky looking. Well, kind of bumpy looking. But it's still pretty.